We're with Chad Jackson, junior free safety for the Young Men's Leadership Academy. The Wildcats are gearing up for their first varsity football game Friday night at Chisholm Trail. And Chad, you guys have been practicing hard all summer long to get ready for this. Uh, what's the emotions right now of the team? Uh, our emotions are high. You know, We put in the work this summer, the summer workouts every morning. And uh, even last year, Coach was like, you know, next year you got to be ready for varsity. So that's what we've been doing. We've been putting in the work. And we're a rather smaller school. So there's a lot more on the table for us. So we need to prove them wrong and be the underdogs because they are really doubting us. You guys are, uh, are a small school. I mean, really, if, uh, if you went by your enrollment, you guys would probably be a 3A school. But because of a UIL rule, you guys have to play a 5A schedule, your District 7 5A. You start off at Chisholm Trail, a 5A school. I mean, how difficult do you feel it's going to be going against these schools that will have 20, 25 more players than you guys on the roster? I mean, it'll be hard, but you know that's what we're preparing. That's what we're preparing for. And I apologize. Uh, from the beginning, whenever they told us we were 5A, we were excited because now this gives us a new challenge, and we've been putting in the work. So now, since we've been putting in the work, it's time for it to pay off. So now you said that you were excited. Is that uh, simply because? It puts you guys squarely as the underdog and, and, and gives you sort of a chip on your shoulder, some motivation, or what's the reasoning uh, of wanting that type of challenge? The reason we're excited is because we've been together for so long, and this is a big challenge for us. And if we go out and if we do what we're supposed to do, which is win games, then, you know, we can... Uh, uh, can you ask the question? About that? You're good. Just, just the challenge of... Uh, uh, why you're excited to play 5A oh. as opposed to uh, you know being in the 3A? We're excited concert. to play 5A because we've been working all summer, and from the beginning, coach has told us that varsity is going to be hard, so don't play around. So that's what we haven't been doing. We've been putting in the work, and now and on Friday nights, it's time to show coach where we go. Now, do you think that uh, the other schools in Fort Worth uh, has any idea of of what uh, you guys present in terms of uh, the skill that you guys do have on this team? No, they don't. That's why we need to surprise them and show them. What do you feel like your team is ready to uh, to take on the big boys? I mean, again, you start off with 5A, uh, Chisholm Trail, and then two more non-district games against uh, Class 4A Division I reigning champion Waco La Vega, and then a 4A runner-up in Salina. Uh, how do you figure that you guys are, are ready to handle that type of task? Oh yeah, we're ready. We've been putting in the work for a long time now. So now that work will pay off. All of us, even though we're a small group of guys, we have all came to school, lifted weights, did our conditioning. And since we're a rather smaller school, we got to do more conditioning. Some people got to play both ways, so that teaches us, you know, to keep going. All right, we're here with Sir Mark Sanders, nose guard for the Young Men's Leadership Academy. He will also be playing on the offensive line when YMLA heads to Chisholm Trail on Friday for their first varsity football game. Sir Mark, what's the feeling right now uh, with the team as you guys are uh, getting ever so close to playing your first varsity football game? Uh, we feel very confident and we, are, we feel excited to go have fun but also compete at a high level and it's a set history for our school. Now Sir Mark, you guys are in District 75A, so you're a Class 5A school, yet the enrollment here is pretty small. It would suggest that you should be in Class 3A. How big of a challenge do you think it's going to be to first of all play Chisholm Trail, a Class 5A school, and then a couple of 4A schools after that in the non-district season and then go through a 5A district? How difficult, how taxing physically for you guys to do that? It's going to be very physical, but we ready. We've been training all off season to be prepared for this because we last year when we heard it was going to be a 7-5A, we knew it was going to be a challenge, but we knew we had to step up and compete with a high level, so we are ready. Now, Sir Mark, because uh, you guys have about 30, 34 or so players on the varsity roster, you are probably going to have to play offense and defense. Now, you describe yourself as a nose guard. That's obviously on the defensive line. Will you play offense as well? Yes, I'll be playing offense. I'll be playing left guard. So we can be able to, hey, we don't, we don't have much depth on the offensive line. So me, I playing both ways keeps us kind of balanced on both sides. So you will probably be playing almost every snap of the game. 
Yes, sir. How much conditioning have you guys had to do to be prepared to play every snap of a game on a night that is probably going to be warm and humid? Uh, we've been doing a whole lot of conditioning. We do conditioning every day, but when it comes closer to game time, we don't do some. We we do conditioning, but if we get conditioning during practice, we don't do it after. But we spent almost all last year conditioning, getting ready for Friday. You feel like the whole team is is ready to go? Yes, we. I feel like because we are a whole team full of leaders, and we all know each other for so long. We all know our potential, so we're ready to go out and shine.